Washington is bracing for what could be a dramatic day in the Russia investigation. An indictment in the probe looking into possible connections between Russia and the Trump campaign could be unsealed as soon as today. CBS's Hinodoba is in New York with the latest. Today could be the day an indictment is unsealed in the investigation into possible links between the Trump campaign and Russia. Sources tell CBS News a federal grand jury has approved charges brought by special counsel Robert Mueller. The president, through a series of tweets Sunday, called the probe a witch hunt, saying there is so much guilt by Democrats, Clinton. Last week, it came to light that Democrats helped pay for some of the information in a dossier of allegations against the president's election team. I certainly would have uh, you know, liked to know who paid for it earlier, but nonetheless, that's just one factor to be considered. It doesn't answer the ultimate question, which is how much of the work is accurate, how much of it is true. It's still unclear who might be charged and with what. The special counsel has also been investigating financial dealings of Trump associates, including former Trump campaign manager Paul Manafort and former national security advisor Mike Flynn. I have not yet seen any definitive evidence of collusion. I've seen lots of evidence that the Russians were very active in trying to influence the election. Some Republicans, like New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, are questioning how today's potential indictment was leaked. Uh, there are strict laws against any of this type of leaking of grand jury activity. Christie maintains the president himself is not under investigation. And Adoba, CBS News. And some Republicans are calling on Mueller to resign, questioning his ties to the FBI and its fire director, James Comey.